Hi everybody. Today we got started with looking inside WordPress and it was a rather um, quick view but I want you to feel okay with concentrating on the top items for this week's assignment. We will be building on to your blog as the weeks continue so please do not panic. The first thing that you want to go do is to visit wordpress.com and sign in with your username. Okay, so up here on the top left, I'm already signed in, but if you're not signed in, it will go ahead and have you sign in with your username. Okay, um, and once you're signed in with your username, you should uh, see this bar at the top. You're going to activate the blogs icon here on the top left hand side and choose register a new blog. Part of what you really want to th think about before registering a new blog is to ponder what you want your address name to be. WordPress says don't worry you can change this later but I would really decide on something that works for you now before you get started. The other item that's in question is which one of these selections should you use? WordPress.com is free. There's no web hosting fees associated with it. Uh, these other ones, simply yourname.com or yourname.net or yourname.org, require a hosting fee. And this is a different, more um, sophisticated form of the Word WordPress software, which can be installed on your web server as it exists now. And there's some other um, functionalities that you can add that don't concern the security of WordPress.com. For this class, um, until you get used to the WordPress interface, I would strongly recommend you step stick with the free version. You can very easily uh, migrate the free WordPress site that you create in this class over to a server-based site and explore the differences at that time. So um, you're going to go ahead and register the name of your blog. The title um, can be changed at any time. Notice that this says, sorry, this site already exists, and it'll give you some suggestions of um, other names that don't exist and usually adding a dash in between can help be helpful. There was some asking oh, after privacy. Uh, make sure you choose English just to back up a little bit as your language please just for this class. Uh, when you want, if you only want viewable by everyone but block search engines, choose that. If you want it to be private choose that, but it means you have to add all the users in the class, which um, I'm going to have to help you with. Viewable by everyone is eventually what you want so that your blog can be searchable by the entire universe. When you're done with all these options, go ahead and choose create a blog. Once you've uh, gone ahead and created a blog, up here on the drop down menu, you'll, you'll see a list of the blogs that you have. I have um, approximately eight blogs in my drop down menu, and I'm going to take a look at the dashboard of the first blog that I have, which is Erica Gentry Imaging Arts and Education. So once you've registered the blog, you want to um, work to find a template. So on the left hand side of the dashboard, the dashboard is the behind the scenes controls of your WordPress site. And over here on the left hand side we have a drop down called appearance. Choosing the appearance of your site is difficult. I've gone ahead and clicked on the themes link here and it takes me into a page of approximately 147 themes. Today in class there were colleagues of yours that said the 2011, that's T-W-E-N-T-E-L-E-V-E-N -E -E theme, was their favorite and very versatile. So you could do a search for that one if you wanted to. That's 2011, 11, I can spell. Um, or you can feel free to explore some of the other templates. You can preview the 2011 template. 
And because we don't have any content in our site yet, or you don't have any content in your site yet, uh, yours may not show up with anything. But it's a nice, clean, simple template to start with. It's a two column template with one column here and one column here, as well as the capacity for drop down menus. Okay? So go through and choose an appearance. You can change the appearance at any time should you change your mind. So don't get too stuck here. Choose an appearance. Start out maybe with 2011. Then um, click on or choose an appearance theme rather. So perhaps uh, I've chosen the Dig 3 column theme. And then you have options within the theme. One of these options is the widgets option. Over here on the left hand side, since it's a three column theme, I have two sidebars, one on each side of the main posting body. So here's my body or my where my post goes, and here's sidebar one, and here's sidebar two. So if we take a look at inside my dashboard, I have a three column dashboard with sidebar one to the left, which has recent entries and links and sidebar 2 to the right which has RSS feeds and other links and these links are HM, uh, HTML um, pieces of code that hook up buttons to my social networks which you don't have to worry about right now. The widgets, the minimum amount of widgets that I want you to add this week are um, two links so one link widget so you would click and drag the link widget over to your sidebar okay and then um, add links to your page which I'll show you in a minute so it's gonna pull from the links that you've already added to your blog and stream them basically into the sidebar the other sidebar that you want to add is an RSS feed so I'm gonna click on the RSS feed widget which is here and I'm gonna go ahead and click and or I'm sorry RSS feed not RSS links um, I'm gonna go ahead and drag it over onto this side so RSS feed is a feed that um, comes from another website that's the one that you want and go ahead and um, find your favorite blog and enter in the feed here I mentioned that if you wanted to uh, link to the course blog just for practice, the feed address would be right up here and you could copy and paste this feed address over into the enter the RSS feed URL here. Give it a title if you choose to use our course RSS feed that's MMSP 131 and then how many items would you like to display. Display as many as you like. Play with this. Hit save and then close Okay, and then preview the work that you've done so far by clicking on the link and you can see that the RSS feeds show up over here you can then go back into your dashboard I'm going to choose blogs okay my dashboard and you can make modifications if you want to and remember that's in the widgets category over here so add a RSS um, widget, add a links widget, and then somewhere I want you to add the physical location of your business. This can be through a text widget or this can be in the body of the post. The other thing you need to add on your website is your mission statement. Again, this can be in a text widget or this can be in the body of your post. It could also be within the appearance of the website. For example, um, I have the capability to add a background image here if you want to add a tiled web background image. Um, I can add um, a header. Here's the header that I have. They give you the pixel dimensions so you can build your header in the graphics program of your choice if you want to. Um, if you want to include your mission statement here so long as it's legible and it's not too long. If you have a long mission statement I would include it somewhere else. Okay so I can modify the header here under appearance. Um, another option 
as to where to include the mission statement is in a post. I've gone ahead and clicked on posts and I have a lot of posts dating back several years. You don't have any posts yet. To add a new post you can click here or click here. So I'm going to choose add new and I'm going to add an introductory post. Okay, with my address and mission statement. That's pretty basic. Um, you're going to be adding content that's more interesting than this, um, but I would go ahead and um, uh, write something valuable, an introduction to what you're trying to do, um, maybe elongate your mission statement. It could be a welcome post. If you want to add an image at this time, you would insert an image by clicking on the Add an Image icon in which case you could link to a URL of an image from another website or you could choose something from your media library. I've uploaded a bunch of images previously. If you don't have anything uploaded, you're going to have to say upload from your computer and you can select a file and upload it. And these are the types of files that are allowable. Okay. You can work with these WYSIWYG apps here to size font and to position um, your image or text or you can work with the HTML code over to the right hand side if you're more comfortable with that. Once you're done writing your post, go ahead and choose publish. Notice that you can also save a draft. Save a draft first. Preview the post to see what it looks like. Okay. Alright. And then um, edit the post by clicking on the edit link there to go back and you can choose to publish it or make it live or you can decide when you want it to be published so for example instead of publishing immediately I could set the date and time I wanted the post to be visible to the world. The other thing that you w want to consider is making yourself some categories so that you can categorize your post according to category categories and I would kind of try to think of these in advance so that they don't get out of control. One other helpful um, tip is to make sure to tag each post. These tags um, make your posts more searchable from web crawlers as well as searchable inside the blog itself. Um, once you've, I'm going to go ahead and just move this to the trash because I don't want to save this, but once you've um, gotten you've spent about a week playing around with just these targeted things that we've talked about, you're going to copy the um, URL and you're going to go to the course blog, this week's assignment. I'm going to click on comments and you're going to type in here is my course blog. Please give feedback and thanks. And your name and you're going to paste it for your peers. Okay? And this is an example of turning in assignment two. This is assignment two. Um, I've been modifying a few of the assignments from the previous semester as we go, so if you see some references to assignment three, I apologize. This is assignment two, and we're going to go ahead and say post comment. All right, if you have any other questions, please feel free to come by my office hours listed on your syllabus or um, post some questions here on our course blog for your peers and myself to respond to or make an appointment to see me personally. And I look forward to seeing you and your blog in class.